Yo guys, what is going on? Bobby here and today we got another new video for you guys. So today is going to be another video on the new map. This one's going to be Gem Grab Swirling Storm. So this is a really interesting map. I've never seen a mid quite like this. So I believe throwers are going to be very, very strong, particularly Barley on this map. What we're going to try and do is figure out exactly who the best mid is. And I believe it is Gene. So we're going to play a couple games on Gene, then a couple games on some other brawlers. We're going to figure out exactly what the best mid is, but it's definitely not someone like Piper, which is open map. Maybe Poco with the Rosa comp. But we'll try and figure it out. So let's hop into the first game here and let's see what we can figure out about this new map. So I've never played this map. So the middle is really, really close together. Interesting. So Barley, just by looking at this map, you guys can tell Barley is going to be lethal here. Um, Just by looking at it, I actually think Penny would be pretty good. Penny would not be a bad pick on this map. Second, just going to be standing there shooting. He, he has a pretty good feeling about this game since he does kind of counter all of them. Or at least is the same brawler as them. So we're doing pretty good here. Second's kind of just chilling up there. Trapping them. Uh, we're going to be able to get this kill really quickly. Second's actually going to go down. Wow. So the Primo here has some gems. We definitely want his gems. Going to take some chip shots over there. Pull this guy. Second's just going to go up. Probably get the kill. Taking some shots. That Shelly just used Band-Aid. Jason's doing a really good job. So Barley definitely is godly on this map. We can confirm that. So I'm just going to pull this Primo, I think. Second's going to get that super off. Good play by second to super when I pulled. Jason, come on, shoot him. There you go, Jason. So we're going to back up over here. We got nine gems. We're looking pretty good. Second's just chilling in the middle with one of the gems. Going to pull the Primo. Second's going to super. Oh, I'm going to get pulled, actually. But it's fine. I'm going to be able to walk back. If that Shelly was playing, that they definitely could have killed me, actually. Almost through there. And he was just going to be spinning in this bush. Kind of want to pull someone. Oh, there we go. We pulled that bot Shelly. That's going to be our first win. So, Gene isn't bad, but I do feel like Poco would be a lot better. So, I'm going to go Poco. Just see if I can heal second the entire time and see if this can be the better mid. Let's get in the game and let's try and figure it out. Okay, so here we go into the next game. They're going to be going Penny, Carl and um i believe it was mike so that's a pretty good comp mike could could be very very good here with a high skilled player so we're gonna move up and just pinch this mike back straight away same with this penny gonna be avoiding the mic shots i might go down here but that really doesn't matter because i know we're just gonna get the gems back we don't have to win straight you know 10 to nothing get every single gem we could just kill them to get them which is fine gonna be moving forward here Gonna be healing second best with our spare shots. Gonna move back. We have the three to two lead right now. So they have a penny turret, and I believe that penny turret is actually gonna be really good. So we'll see what it does. We get that dynamite to two HP over there. We're gonna get that heal for second best. Move up, try and keep them back here. We're gonna be able to get that kill on the dynamite. Second's just gonna bop them. And we're able to get the team wipe over there. So we have really good vid control. Gonna try and bait the dynamite into breaking these walls, but I don't think he's gonna do it. We're just gonna be healing second over here. Second's just gonna walk up. Gonna get that heal off. The mic did break its own walls. We're gonna be able to get that kill, and second's just gonna walk out. He's gonna continue sh shooting so that he doesn't uh, regain any HP. He's just gonna keep shooting. Be able to pick up that next gem. Gonna be healing second. He's probably gonna go in and die. I wouldn't be surprised. We're able to keep him alive over there with our heals. Again, continuously keeping him alive. Oh, we were just too late over there. I'm just gonna back up and not go for that one. That was that was gonna be way too risky of a play. Penny's gonna move forward over there. We're gonna get a shot off on him. Second's gonna pick up a gem. He's probably gonna go down. Oh, he's not. I just kill this guy and try and pick up the gems. Okay, I didn't want second to hold the gems to be honest. Second's gonna go for the kill over there. He's gonna be able to get it, and I'm just gonna heal my teammates. So this definitely wasn't a <laughs> Second got me killed over there. So it definitely wasn't a bad option for the mid, but I do feel like I do feel like um, I have a better one in mind and it, it's actually not even normally a mid. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna queue up into the next game. I'm gonna show you guys what I have in mind and I think it's gonna work out, but we're gonna have to get in game and see. Let's get into it and let's show you guys exactly who I think might be the best mid on this map. Okay, so here we go into the next game. We're gonna be facing Penny. 
uh, Piper and Sandy and this is the mid who I think actually might be best and it's gonna be M's and the reason I think it's M's is because M's does a lot of damage if you get in a, into a correct range and I believe that the mid just works out perfectly enough for M's that you can always be in that range. So you guys can see we're able to get a kill over there. We're also going to be able to kill the penny. So I do think I made the right choice when I went M's. Let's see what I can do over here. I'm going to pop my super and see what I can do. But we should be able to pop off. We're able to get a kill over there. We're going to maintain chilling in the mid. And it looks like Jason's picking up a few gems. So that's fine. We're just going to let him pick up a couple, a couple more. We're going to get that Piper down. Oh, we're going to get pinched, but we're actually going to get a kill with our super, so that's fine. We have the Sandy at one shot. Nothing that we have to do, though, because Jason's going to be able to finish him. Second's going to get that super after just hiding in a bush that entire time. Um, okay, we shot a little bit too early there, but that's fine. Going to get some shots off. Going to be able to hit the Penny a little bit. We're going to use our super, trying to get the Sandy in it, but the Sandy is not going to be in it at all. We're going to have enough now, so Second's going to move up. He's going to get sniped. Oh, I'm going to be shot by the Penny turret, actually. So this isn't looking very good. Well, I mean, it's looking good. We're going to win. But right now, we're not in the greatest position. So we're going to move up over here. And now that I continue, we haven't been, like, going too, too crazy with M's. So I'm thinking maybe Sandy might actually be a better mid now that I look at it. But we're going to have to try that in the next game. So we're moving forward over here. Second's just shooting rapidly for whatever reason seconds just being second we're gonna be able to pick up a kill on that piper we're gonna go down over there but that's fine jason's doing a good job of protecting himself making sure he's not in a position where he can die he's shooting forward two gems right over here that we can take seconds gonna probably be able to get a double kill he's not gonna be able to but that's fine oh i'm gonna go down that's pretty bad i wasn't really focusing on that turret wow so now we're actually in a pretty bad position and i did use my super interesting so they got a little bit too ahead of themselves trying to go for that last gem they weren't able to do anything i'm going to spray my shots over there and we're going to be able to get two gems so they're probably going to tie it up but that's fine jason's in a interesting position but we're able to get the kill together over there uh we're just chilling back here jason's going to super the mid I'm just going to walk forward and pick up a gem. One Piper shot would have killed us, but we're going to be able to juke it. Wow, that Penny turret's really going at us. I think a Penny might actually be the strat on this map, TBH. If second goes down, we're going to have a good amount of problems. Uh, we're able to get one kill over there. Trying to back up, stay alive. Second's kind of just chilling over there. I believe if second was sweating, we probably would have won this game by now. We're able to pick up a kill. Right over there. Second's trying to get into a position and get some good supers. We're going to be able to take out the Piper. We're going to get that kill and we're going to start moving back. So Second's going to get another kill over there. He's going to stay up. I'm trying to pick up enough gems to make sure if Second dies that we're fine. Second almost goes down over there. 251 HP. I'm going to get that Sandy to the edge of our shot. And that is going to end way too close of a game. That's going to end it. Um... M's probably isn't the strat. I know we got star, but I just wasn't feeling it. So let's go Penny, actually, and let's see what we can do with Penny. Let's hop into the next game, and let's see what happens. Okay, so here we go into our final game. We're going to be going with Penny. So Jason switched to Carl, and second switched to uh, to Mortis. So Penny, I think Penny might end up being the best mid here, to be honest. But we're going to see and find out right now. We're going to take some shots. Again, we have to try and get our uh, Penny super our turret before we can actually do too much we're two shots away um still two shots away over here making our way penny is pretty weak until you get that turret so it's definitely very essential to do so one shot away we're going to be able to get it right over there and we're just going to put it right there and there we go we got the turret out so this is when we can start zoning off so immediately they can't go back with their jukes. They can't um, they can't walk into fire, such as that mortis over there. So we're going to see what we can do over here. They're going to be able to destroy it, but that's fine. Because once you get that first one, you just start to get one after another after another. And you're in a really good position. So there we go. Another hit over there. Going to back up. Close to another penny turret. Got another one. We're going to put this one in a more aggressive position over here. So it can always be shooting at them. Gonna be able to pick up the kill and that game went super 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 smooth so i think penny mid might definitely be the strategy on this map this cold's gonna go for a last second hurrah but he's not gonna be able to do anything gonna put this uh penny's tur turret down you know just for fun that's gonna end the game there was no competition a hundred percent 
use Penny on this map. We're able to figure it out. But anyways, that's going to be the video for today. I hope you guys enjoyed. And, you know, this is kind of like the process when we, as in we, when I mean the pros, look for what's good on what map. We kind of just test everything out. You know, we might have something in mind, such as M's, that we think might just work somehow. Give it a shot and you realize it doesn't. So that's kind of the process of how we learn what's good on the maps, you know, just test things out until it works. But Penny obviously worked very well, so that's going to be it. Hope you guys enjoyed. There's going to be another video back tomorrow. Don't really know what it's going to be, but we'll see. I will catch you guys then. Peace.